Hi, good day. So for today, we are going to talk about the Friedman test. Friedman test is another way on how we can find the significant difference between three or more groups of data that came from dependent samples. Unlike the repeated measures ANOVA, Friedman test can only be used if the data that we have are not normally distributed. And therefore, Friedman test is a type of non-parametric test. Also, because our data here are not normally distributed, then the most appropriate level of measurement that we should use here should be under ordinal scale. To give you an example on how Friedman test works, let's have here an example research entitled The Auditory Acceptability of Pop Music from 1970s, 1990s, and 2000s. Here, a 9-point hedonic scale was used by 5 participants to rate the auditory acceptability of music from 1970s, 1990s, and 2000s. Now, what is a hedonic scale? Hedonic scale is a 9-point scale used to measure the respondent's acceptability or liking towards an item, usually food, odor, music, painting, etc. Here in hedonic scale, 9 means the item is liked extremely and 1 means the item is disliked extremely. Now these are the ratings of our 5 participants or 5 samples for 1970s pop music, 1990s pop music, and 2010s pop music. Now take note that these data here only came from one set of samples, these samples, and therefore these samples are dependent samples. Now let's assume that our data here are not normally distributed. The next thing that we are going to do is to rank these data horizontally or per sample. Again, in ranking, the lower the number, the lower the rank, and the higher the number, the higher the rank. And so we will have here these additional columns, the column for ranks in 1970s pop music, the column for ranks in 1990s pop music, and the column for ranks in 2010s pop music. Now for sample A, the smallest number is 5. That's why it will be ranked first. The second smallest number is 7. And that's why it will be ranked second. And the biggest number is 9. That's why it will be ranked third. And we're going to do that in all our data here. Again, our ranking will be horizontally done. The next thing that we're going to do is to get our rank sum per column. Like for example, the ranks for 1970s, we have here 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 3. And that is 11. For ranks in 1970s pop music, that is equivalent to 11. For ranks in 1990s pop music, that is equivalent to 9. And for ranks in 2010s pop music, that is equivalent to 10. Next one, we are going to determine our null hypothesis, our degrees of freedom, our alpha level or level of significance, our critical value, and our decision rule. For the null hypothesis, our null hypothesis here is that there is no significant difference on the auditory acceptability of pop music from 1970s, 1990s, and 2010s, or the auditory acceptability of pop music from 1970s, 1990s, and 2010s are just the same. For the degrees of freedom, our formula here is K-1, where K is the number of groups of data. Now, if we are going to go back in our prior table, we have here 1, 2, 3, 3 groups of data. And therefore, our K here is 3. Now, 3 minus 1 is 2. And therefore, our degrees of freedom here is 2. For the alpha level, our alpha level or level of significance here is 0.05 or 5%. Now for our critical value here, to know the critical value in Friedman test, we are going to use the chi-square critical value table. So let's take a look at chi-square critical value table. This is the critical value table for chi-square. Here, we know that our alpha level or level of significance is 0.05 or 5% and our degrees of freedom is 2. By intersecting the value under 0.05 as the alpha level, and the value under 2 degrees of freedom, then we can say that our critical value for chi-square is 5.991. Now, after looking at the chi-square critical value table, 
we now know that our critical value here is 5.991. For our decision rule, our decision rule here is that if the computed chi-square is greater than or equal to the critical value for chi-square and that is 5.991, we are going to reject our null hypothesis. Now, how are we going to compute our chi-square in Friedman test? Now, this is our formula for us to be able to compute our chi-square in Friedman test. Our formula is chi-square is equal to 12 over small letter n multiplied to small letter k multiplied to k plus 1 multiplied to the summation of rs squared minus 3 multiplied to small letter n multiplied to small letter k plus 1. Our small letter n here is the sample size. In our research, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 samples. And therefore, our small letter n is 5. For k, k is actually the number of groups of data. So in our research, we have here 1, 2, 3. 3 groups of data. And therefore, our k here is 3. For rs, rs is actually the rank sum for each column. These rank sums, 11, 9, and 10, which were already determined earlier. Now, if we are going to plug in all the data that we had earlier, then we will have here chi-square is equal to 12 over, again, our n here is 5, multiplied to, again, our k here is 3, multiplied to 3 plus 1, multiplied to the summation of our rank sum, again, our first rank sum here is 11, so that's 11 squared, plus our second rank sum here is 9, so that's 9 squared, Plus, our third rank sum here is 10, so that's 10 squared, minus 3, times again the n, our n here is 5, multiplied to k plus 1, again our k is 3, so that's 3 plus 1. By simplifying this equation, then we will have here chi-square is equal to 12 over 60, multiplied to 302, minus 3, times 5, times 4. And by simplifying further this equation, then we will have here chi-square is equal to 0 0.4. Now let's proceed to analysis. Our analysis here is that since our computed chi-square, which is 0 0.4, is less than our critical value for chi-square, which is 5.991, then we are not going to reject our null hypothesis or do not reject null hypothesis. And therefore, our conclusion here is that there is no significant difference on the auditory acceptability of pop music from 1970s, 1990s, and 2010s. That is how we can use the Friedman test in finding the significant difference between three or more groups of data that came from dependent samples and that our data are not normally distributed. Thank you for listening and good day.